Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a paracord needle or lacing needle or fid. And you can make these out of uh, threaded posts that you pick up from Lowe's. And they're really cheap and easy to make. Most of these online are like between $5 and $12. And when you get them, they look like that. So the first thing we need to do is cut that end off. And so we're going to go outside and do that real quick. Okay, to cut the end off, I'm just going to use a, a Dremel with a small cutting wheel on it. You can use a hacksaw if you don't have a Dremel. This just makes a quicker job of it. Okay, now that we got the end off, we're ready to start shaping it into the needle. Okay, now to shape the end, you just need a, a sanding block and some pretty coarse sandpaper and you'll need some fine stuff when you get it down. And you can either do this by hand because this is aluminum and you have to be careful when you're, when you're cutting this or doing anything with it because it's really soft and it's going to bend or it will bend really easy and mess up your threads because they're threaded on the inside and that's how you paracord threads into it. So you can either do this by hand and what I'm going to do is stick it in my drill and to do that I'm going to take one of the extensions that come with it to keep because if I mess up the threads on this it's not a big deal so I'm going to put this in my needle and I'm going to put some tape around it and put this in the drill and sand it down like that and use the tape on it to try to keep from burning up the sides of the needle You don't want to put a lot of pressure down on your sandpaper because you'll wind up bending the needle. starting to look pretty good. Once you get it down like you want it, you can slope it and make it pointier or blunt. And I'm going to make this a little pointy. And after I get done sanding a little bit, I'm going to get some triple lot steel wool and polish it up. Okay, now that I've got it the way I want it, I'm going to take the steel wool and polish it up. You want to do this part by hand because uh, this stuff will just, it catches really hard and it will just jerk it and wrap it up around the, the needle and probably bend it if you try to do it in the drill. Alright, looking pretty good. It's really smooth, doesn't have any burrs on it. Take the tape off and see if we did any damage. Looks pretty good. It's got a couple scuff marks on it, but we can polish those right out. And that's all there is to it. You just get your aluminum post, and I'll put a picture up of these at the end to show you exactly what it is. And pick these up at Lowe's, and they're like dollar sixty, dollar seventy, something like that. And then the one-inch extensions make it where you can extend your make your needle as long as you need it to be and this is really handy for using the tying the man rope knot and I use it when I do the diamond knot also now once you have them once you make it it's threaded inside and you just screw it
onto your paracord. Works really well.